Welcome to my channel Swift Learn. In this playlist, I will show you from the beginning to expert in WCF service with SQL Server database tab. Like the crude operation, insert, update, delete, charts operation in your application using WCF service. It will also cover how to create WCF service, how to add method and class in WCF service, adding WCF service in your application with definition and solving error. Start Visual Studio. Okay, file new project. Okay, I'm gonna add a new project WCF. Uh, you can add WCF service library or the service application. I just uh, I'm just adding WCF service application and browse the location where I will add it. Uh, I am just adding it in the desktop uh, folder is WCF tutorial save. The name of this uh, service is uh, WCF service one. Okay, this is uh, I service one dot CS and default. Uh, when you start, uh, uh, when you create a new uh, project, then you can see default uh, the two operation contact. I just did it one operation contact, and the second is a string insert. And I am just uh, creating a class. The class is insert user. Okay, just add this class in operation contact okay value is a user and you can declare any anything okay now mm, add some uh, variable oh okay first of all i'm gonna add a table in my database my database name is my test tv and table is uh, uh, i'm just adding a table with some column uh, the column name is user id user id is integer types and it uh, should be primary key and it's uh, you can uh, keep it in identity I am just uh, 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 fixed it in identity true so that uh, it will be auto incremental and I will work with the another two column name and email okay name is nbharkar50 and email is also nbharkar50 you can see about database tutorial in my channel okay now see that there is no data in the table sql table okay now i will insert the data in the two column name and email in that case i am just uh, adding two declaring two variable uh, as a string name uh, it's a string dot empty or you can keep it only string name or you can keep it name equal to uh, null name name equal to blank okay string email equal to string dot empty okay i already declared my declaration is done now data member add data member public string name the name n is capital letter return name and name equal to value and uh, add uh, another data member for email data member string email public string email return email as usual email equal to value okay now with the service one dot sbc dot cs main service file okay here you can see default uh, default code i just uh, erase this code and rename the insert it must be the same of your uh, operation contact see that my operation contact is insert and insert user it must be the equal with uh, operation contact and the class also okay now just uh, uh, declare uh, msg i just uh, declaring msg because this is a method mm, okay now sql connection it's uh, not coming default you should add namespace okay i will show how to add namespace uh, sql connection con equal to new sql connection click yes namespace added in the app okay uh, i already have the connection listing i just copy and paste this connection listing here to, uh, to reducing time you can put 
your database connection string okay con dot open now sql command sql command cmd equal to new sql command what's my sql command my sql command is for insert insert uh, into user tab my table name is user tab okay and column name is you can declare uh, column or uh, this is just uh, sql uh, code for operation uh, sql code okay now name and email values at that name and at that of email i will declare at that of name and at that of email uh, and below okay con done now cmd dot parameter dot add with value now, i already and uh, i told that uh, i'll declare that of name and at that you know, email at that of name is user user is insert user user what i declared this is user dot name and user dot email at the end of email user dot email okay done now uh, yes integer ms uh, uh, integer result okay I can declare anything as variable integer g equal to cmd dot execute non query it will display the result if it's execute then if uh, g equal to one that means if it is execute i mean result equal to one then uh, sorry uh, yes execute non query then m is equal to successfully inserted okay successfully inserted if uh, it will getting any error i mean if it's not uh, failed to insert then it will display the masses as failed to insert okay now finally return ms finally it will return the masses okay now my service is done see that this is the just uh, error error what's problem with error oh expected yes wrongly i forget to put a semicolon now fresh function five key for debugging the service yes i just pressed uh, yes it's debugging yes yes insert method is added see that email and name was also added now my service is done now add a web application file new project i'm just adding web application sp.net web application name application and the location is w desktop wcf tutorial okay just click on okay yes my application is added this is the default code in the uh, asp.net this is default.aspx file name design with two text box and a button control go to the toolbox and uh, add level control design this level control first of all change the text my, uh, my level control text is name and uh, add another level control just copy paste yes and this is for email okay now i'm gonna add another level control for title of the page the title is user registration form okay my title is also added but it is not look like title to make it looking like title that uh, i'm gonna add a deep and uh, i just uh, put the label in deep tag finally align center yes it's center now just uh, change the style and uh, change the font text to bigger so that it will display perfectly and the back color uh, for just designing you can keep it same it's not the fact of wcf but what i'm uh, gonna show uh, just for looking look ready uh, that's why okay now see that this is user registration form look like title okay add two text box the first text box is text box one and second text box is text box 
2 text box 1 for name and text box 2 for email and uh, finally add a button control to uh, where you will write code to insert data in sql.wcf service okay now in the button click event uh, yes now first of all go to the wcf service yes right click view in browser yes this is the uh, link for where you will host now i just uh, run it in the browser that's why when you host it will be it will be you just put the hosted location okay add service reference right click and add service reference yes and now put just paste the location what you call you copy from the browser just click and go yes it's retrieving yeah yes service insert method is uh, just uh, the insert method and the namespace is service reference one just click on ok yes the service is added now just call the service um, and the service is service reference one dot service client client uh, equal to new service reference one dot service client okay okay now write code for insert the button click event uh, insert oh first of all add namespace using uh, using web application one dot service reference one now the method will automatically insert user yes uh, it, this it was my class name in that service insert user u equal to new insert user u dot name uh, u dot name uh, equal to text box one dot text what text will be you put in the text box one it will uh, save uh, as name and the text box two email u dot email equal to text box two dot text yes done now just add uh, for result a string uh, r equal to r uh, this is for result r equal to client see that client this client client dot insert i just call this method from the service client dot insert u Oh, add a level control to display the masses after inserted it will display the success masses if it will not insert then it will display the fail masses okay now uh, just change the uh, color of this level yes and font to it bold okay done uh, design also done and the id of the level is lbl msg okay now lblmsg dot text equal to r dot twisting yes now it's done just debug or, uh, or right click and view in browser yes now put name my database table is still empty there is no data now i'm gonna add data in the database table just click on button successfully inserted yes now i'm adding another record swift learn swift that quality dot com uh, go to the application to see the data in the database table yes both the uh, both data is added now i'm gonna add another record john name is john and email is john john at that quality dot com okay successfully inserted see the data in the database table just reload yes done